Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 15 box football mixer, random team number two. It says quick hit mixer, it's not actually that quick. The hits are quick, the break itself is not quite that quick, but big thanks to uh, the hybrid, the prism retail, the obsidian team all, the red floods are what we're looking for and that obsidian should be really nice. Uh, big, big thanks to nobody? I was too, a little too eager to start this break here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Congrats to the people who won spots in uh, both of those fillers. The Prism Cello Packs, 38 and 39. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up as well. Big thanks to the teams. And I probably did not put the spreadsheet name there. Let's get the spreadsheet name. Today is Wednesday the 19th, 2023. All right, now, let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Four and a five, nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got Adam down to Peter after nine. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Eagles down to the Panthers. All right, so Adam with the Eagles, Chris with the Chiefs, Tristan with the Commanders, Jan with the Bengals, Brian with the Raiders, my Raiders, Nicholas with the Packers, Adam with the Rams, Scott with the Jags, Chris with the Bucks, Nathan with the Cardinals, Eric with the Vikings, Chris with the Falcons, Nathan with the Colts, Nicholas with the Bills, Chris with the Niners, Brian with the Cowboys, Raymond with the Browns, Brian with the Jets, Nicholas with the Patriots, Mark with the Lions, Nicholas with the Chargers, Nathan with the Broncos, Chris with the Titans, Nicole with the Bears, Scott with the Dolphins, Reno with the Texans, Chris with the Giants, Brian T with the Ravens, Al Murdoch, Seahawks and Steelers, Jason with the Saints, and Peter with the Carolina Panthers. We're gonna sort alphabetized by football team here. And we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break, so stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so this list right here remains the same as it did in the previous screen here on a Wednesday, the 19th, 2023, July. Thanks, everyone, for making us part of your day, your hump day. All right, so... Got five, 10, 15 boxes. We're just gonna go left to right. We'll start with classics first and we'll get into the Prism Retail. Then we'll finish off with the five boxes of Obsidian uh, Football from 2021. Rex, what's up? You found your Giants tickets from 89.90 but can't find the White Sox too. Pirates too. You have any pictures of those? Should you take a little, uh, little point and shoot? Back in the day, Rex? Did they have disposable cameras back in the late 80s? Saquon apparently mulling skipping the season, ladies and gentlemen. Quote, I might have to. That'd be wild. Jets to wave Denzel Mims if there's no trade for the wide receiver. Which I guess kind of tanks the trade market already if you're telling everybody, well, we're gonna release him anyway. <laughs> Unless the team's really desperate to get Denzel Mims. Might not be a bad addition to some teams, though. All right. Classics. I'm sure Daniel Jones would love to see him. Love to see Saquon here. There's Desmond Ritter. Nice. Rookie autograph for the Dirty Birds. Chris with the ATL. 23 out of 25. Oh, you should, you should take that off eBay, Rex. Wait wait until that situa contract situation is settled. Unless you don't care about the price. Thirty-seven. 
There's Brett Favre, 25. Brett Favre, Packers edition, going to uh, going to Nicholas. There's Christian Kirk for the Jaguars, 10. Nice little number there, and Sam Howell. Scott E with the Jags. The Sam Howell is going to go to Tristan in the Commanders. Nice rookie card there. Brett Favre, of course, once again, Packers for Nicholas. Gilo saying Netflix finally cracking down on shared accounts. You can't finish quarterback for a while. What happens? Do they, do they suspend you for a while, or what's the deal? Do they lock you out? It's Kenneth Walker to 15. And there's Tyquan Thornton to 75. I remember going to see the Yankees host the Giants with Bonds playing. Wow. During pregame, you got a ball from JT Snow. That's a blast from the past. JT Snow. Yeah, this guy's contract situation not figured out either. Josh Jacobs. Classic beginnings, Kenny Pickett. Calvin Austin from 99. So both, so all these Steelers going to Alan Murdoch got randomized as Steelers here. Basically, they track your IP, and if you're not in the same household, it locks you out for how long? Tyron Davis Price to 99. Devonta Smith to 50. Locks you until you pay. Oh, I see. I think my sister and I share an account, but I think we do pay for the account that lets you have multiple accounts. At least we better. She manages it. Oh, you, Rex has that Saquon helmet up for a buy now at 400. You're, you're sure it won't go for more than that no matter how good of a season he has? You don't think there'll be a price difference if he, if he has an MVP caliber season? Maybe wins the Super Bowl with the New York Football Giants? I don't know, if, do we have a 4K Netflix share? Yeah, I don't, what is that, just it's for streams in 4K? I don't think, I, I, I do not have a 4K television. You guys should get that. Rex wishes you were at the time you were old enough to care a little bit more. I was 12 and 13, 12, 13 and was just really getting to baseball. You don't care as much now? Aikman's a retired player though, not, a, not an active player. I feel like the market is more fluid for active players. It's George Pickens, it's 99. We'll do, I think these are all same teams though. I don't know, we'll see. Are you saying you cared more about baseball when you were 12 and 13, Rex? I feel like I care more about it now than I, than I did when I was 12 and 13. Yeah, no four, I, everyone has a 4K TV. Yeah, I, I don't have a 4K television. Do I need one? How, how, how crucial is it? I also watch a lot of content on my MacBook Pro, and my iPad, which I feel like have pretty good resolutions on there. I guess I don't really watch my actual television as much, so 
not felt a need to upgrade that. Oh, you didn't care enough then. I see, I see. Care enough to go to get camera, go down, take some autographs. This is Ezekiel Elliott, 75. Matthew Stafford to 50, the Rams. These are all also the same team. Sauce Gardner to 50. Not, not many stream services for 4K anyway, but 4K TVs just seem abundant now. I guess I just haven't upgraded my TV since. Is it time to upgrade my TV? I suppose I could. I haven't felt the need to. I feel like there's too many smart TVs out there. It's, it's, it works, Scott. It works. I take care of my electronics. Although it is time for me to get a new cell phone. It's been about four years. What do they what do they say? Change it every two years? Every three years maybe? If you're good with it, you can stretch out a telephone for four to five years. But yeah, smart TV, I feel like they force you to use their onboard technology. I'm like, no, Samsung, I don't want your smart TV. Functionality. It's gonna be a regular TV. Oh, 4K video games are in it for you. Got it. Sporting events are good in 4K, though. Yeah, I suppose sports is where I probably want to want a little upgrade, but I don't play that many video games either, so the necessity is not really there. Yeah, Chase has a 4K TV, but he's not paying for 4K channels. Is Alec Pierce to 125. Um, I guess we'll do a randomizer for that. So that. Jerome Bettis to 75. Another transitions card right there. And here's a John Mechie to 50. We got Devonta Smith. 99. Got another Desmond Ritter. This time it's, uh, that's five out of five. Nice. Chris with the Falcons got the auto earlier and now a five out of five timeless tribute card, Desmond Ritter. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. There's Mahomes to 75. Mahomes saying recently that his motivation and the team's motivation this season go back to back. What does everyone think? Except for Gilo, he's a Chiefs fan. He can't answer this question. Does that non-Chiefs fans? Do you think that the Chiefs can go back to back, win the Super Bowl two years in a row? Hasn't been done since. Patriots, I think. Maybe 
10 years ago. Is Eli Mitchell at 99 for the Niners? Chris M. Ray Lewis at 35. I hope so too. That'd be a good for the hobby, g -Lo, if Desmond Ritter does well. Scott, for whatever it's worth, saying, hey, they're still my favor for winning next year, but probably not likely. Yeah, there's a lot of parity in the NFL. And, uh, makes it difficult. It's even more difficult than before. Super Bowl odds out already? We must, right? Super Bowl odds. According to VegasInsider.com, the, uh, the Chiefs are your favorites according to VegasInsider.com. According to most books, most of the popular books, BetMGM, FanDuel, DraftKings, PointsBet, etc., etc., they're at plus 600, six to one. Next is the Eagles. Most books have them at seven to one, plus 700. Then the Bills, plus 900. The Niners, about nine to one, 10 to one, depending on where you shop around. Bengals, about 10 to one-ish. And the motivation, that's the hard part. I mean, it could be Chiefs Eagles. There's Travis Etienne Jr. to 99. Have the team have two teams faced each other in the Super Bowl in consecutive years before? That must have had has that happened? It must have happened at some point. No? Someone look that up. One out of ten. There's Elijah Moore. No name right here. Parallel to ten. Nice low number. Jets, Brian K. Oh, maybe Bills Cowboys back in, what, in the 90s? Maybe there were a couple of repeats there. There's Kenneth Walker. Another one for the Seahawks, Alan Murdoch. There's Marquise Brown to 25 for the Cardinals, Nathan. Yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty brutal for the, the Bills. It's Tyree Kill to 50. Kyle Hamilton to 99. Got Tony Romo to 125. Got a mod sauce gardener, 95 out of 99. Yeah, Scott's confirming Bills, Cowboys, 93 and 94. So Andrew Luck to 50. All right, final classics hybrid box coming up.
All right, FanDuel has uh, odds for division winners. I'm sure other books too do too, but my quick Google search brought up FanDuel first. They paid for it. Um, ads wise. AFC East, your favorite at plus 130, it's about one to one. Buffalo Bills, followed by the Jets at plus 250, about two and a half to one. Dolphins are about three to one. Patriots about seven and a half to one. Who wins the division? Who wins the AFC East this year? Your early thoughts, your pre preseason thoughts. I guess training camp starts like in two weeks, right? It's all right around the corner. Yeah, I feel like I put a. I just, Put a little bit on the uh, on the Jets winning that today. I feel like there's some value there at plus 250. Training camp starts this week. It's sooner than I thought. It's crazy. Crazy. The year has gone by very quickly. It's Tyreek Hill for the Dolphins to 75. Oh, maybe it's early for the Jets because they play in the Hall of Fame. I think you, I think you may be right. There's Austin Eckler to 25 for the Bolts. That's going to be for Nicholas. Oh, you're going to practice on the 30th. Nice. Well, either way, folks, it's, a, it's around the corner. Camp is around the corner. Terry Bradshaw to 99. Yeah, Scott's like, man, Josh Allen's got to figure out those turnover issues to place a bet at plus 130. There's uh, Sky Moore to 125, another Desmond Ritter. Yeah, where do they practice? University, maybe? It's Miles Garrett to 10 for Cleveland, that's for Raymond. Ooh, Jason Jasper might be an Adams hood for the Jets Eagles game. Are we all going? Jason? Oh, buddy's gonna hook Jason up with a couple tickets. Are we all are we crashing at Adam's house? Quay Walker to 50. Deion Sanders to 75 for Atlanta. Jan saying Cincy holds her camp at Georgetown College in Georgetown, Kentucky. Nice. I don't know where the Raiders training camp is this year. Are they still going back to Northern California, maybe? Brees Hall at 10. All right, five boxes down, 10 more to go. <coughs> Excuse me. And right, we'll do these top bottom randomizers at the end of the break. And these are the same teams. Now we're going to Prism Retail. What about the AFC North, speaking of the Bengals? Bengals are the favorites at plus 130. The Ravens at plus 250. Browns at plus 390. Steelers plus 470. Who wins the AFC North? I guess it is going to be the Bengals, I feel like. I don't think... Is there value on... Uh, if you're into this sort of thing, or is there value in taking some other, another team? In the AFC East, I see some value taking the Jets. I don't know if I see value here. I mean, Browns maybe at plus 390. 
it's worth a, maybe a little of the coffee money or something like that. Though still not confident in Bang the Bengals' offensive line. Enough to cost them in the division, though? they'll be all right in the division but I wonder if that's gonna be that's gonna rear its head in the playoffs though hmm Lamar comeback year Gabe's thinking could be some value at plus 250 what about the AFC South John likes the Bengals for the division, but over on Steelers win, 10 wins. AFC South, the Jaguars are the, are the heavy favorites at minus 155. Then it's the Titans at plus 310, Colts at plus 550, Texans plus 1,000, 10 to one. Any thoughts there? That's Jags, right? Colts could win the division with a losing record. Colts are, I think Colts could win the division? Plus 550 for the Colts. So that could be some good value if you're thinking Colts could be in the running. There's Mark Andrews. I think these black white checkerboard cards are exclusive to this retail set. Let's see if we can find some of the top tier rookies in that pattern. Got Dan Marino, green cracked ice, not numbered. James Cook. Yeah, Gilo's interested in those Colts odds. Adam's gonna put some on the Colts only because you're a fan of them. That's I feel like that's decent value. If, Anthony Richardson is ahead of schedule. You know, it's a pretty solid team, I feel like. Maybe underperformed a little bit last year, possibly due to quarterback play. The division could be got. And so far, that seems to be the best value on the board at the moment. We haven't gone through all the div other divisions yet, but it seems to be among the best value. thus far. The weird glue that kind of dried right there on that Quay Walker. Gabe's thinking that, that Anthony Richardson is the best rookie QB. That would be good for the hobby. We're good for the Colts. Another box. Big Lou's thinking Richardson currently highest upside. Currently the best? Definitely not. I feel like that's what's one of the things that they were saying about him coming into the draft that there's, uh, you know, he's a raw player. But if molded properly, could be. What about 
my AFC West. Oh dear. My Raiders are 14 to one. It's not good. Dead last. Kansas City is the heavy favorite, minus 160. Is there a value in any of the other teams? Chargers at plus 260. Denver's plus 700 to win the division. My Raiders are plus 1400. I mean, you gotta put a little coffee money on the Raiders, right? Just in case it all works. In case it all clicks. Josh Jacobs has another amazing year. Garoppolo managed to magically stay healthy. That defense starts to get whipped into shape. How does everyone feel about the Broncos? Sean Payton, Russell Wilson. What are our thoughts there? Is that is that it? Sean Payton is the is the key to unlocking Russell Wilson and everybody else. Like it's gonna be the Chiefs again winning that division. From an investment perspective, though, I don't know if it's even worth taking the Chargers or Broncos at that price. May as well just go with a long shot. Gilo's high on the Broncos, actually. You think Sean Payton is the is the difference maker there? Is George Pickens emergent cracked ice? The Carson Strong. Gilo's thinking Russell Wilson staying off social media and Sean Payton just a way better leader. So that's, that's what they're hoping. As soon as Hackett left, they look, yeah. That was, a, that was just a bad choice and coach from the get-go. I mean, he looked outmatched week one, right? All right, let's move to the NFC. What about, who's got, who do you have in the NFC East? Eagles are the favorites at minus 110. Cowboys are plus 175. New York football giants are plus 750. And the commanders are 10 to one plus 1,000. Anyone taking anybody else other than the Eagles? Anyone, if you were to invest? Obviously, it's not a binding agreement if you say it in the chat. Is there some value in the Giants at plus 750? I'm bad with these futures, so don't listen to me, but it's fun to talk about. Uh, it's, yeah, Eagles, but you're skipping that. Yeah, I would skip that division too, but if you had to choose, you know, forced to make a single pick. I'm surprised. I mean, maybe it's just because the Dallas Cowboys are such a public team, but I'm surprised that they're plus 175. 
mean, has Dallas re resolved their... I think Tony Pollard still has not signed a franchise tag. I feel like they need some receivers. The defense... I think their defense is okay, but... I don't know. I guess they were 12-5 and five last year? Were they really? I guess the expectations from Cowboys fans for the Cowboys seem to be so high that it made it sound like they had a losing season. I guess if you don't win a Super Bowl, it is a losing season. Yeah, it's got to be the Eagles there. All right, next box. And we got a silver Kenny Pickett rookie card. Nice. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for in this retail set. Alan Murdoch with the Steelers. There you go, Alan. Hopefully he has a good season. That'd be good for the hobby. Jacoby Dean, green cracked ice. Nice little color match. Ticket non silver. Another retail box here. What about the A? Uh, A. What about the NFC North? No clear favorite here. No one at, everyone's at plus money here. Lions plus 145. Vikings at plus 270. Packers at plus 350. And the Bears at plus 420. That seems to be, just at a glance, I feel like that's sort of the, from, from first to worst in that division seems to be the tightest odds wise. When's the last time the Lions have been favored to win their division? I'll bet it's been a minute or two. Any any value anywhere? I think it depends on if you believe in Jordan. If you do, Packers at plus three fifty isn't isn't terrible at all. Be good for the hobby. A lot of people have probably been sitting on Jordan Loves for a long time. Or if, they've, you've, if you've waited this long, you, should, you might be rewarded. You look going to get on the Vikings hype train. They're still a good team. Yeah, Vikings at plus 270. Not bad. I mean, Lions could still Lion. It's true. Their cousins are still there. You like that? You like that? What's going on with Dalvin Cook? Aren't they chopping Dalvin Cook? Or is that not? True. Maybe they're shopping him if, if they can get a good deal. Might be too late. I mean, I feel like once training camp starts, not a lot of trades are going down. You're essentially learning a new language between each team with their playbook, so. 
if you don't get a full training camp, it might not be beneficial unless you're being traded to a team with coaches that used to use the same language in their playbooks. They go Jamal Williams. I think that's a pretty big blow. There's a uh, Kenny Pickett new recruits insert. Green cracked ice. Steelers another one for Alan Murdoch. Speaking of cousins, there he is. You like that? You like that? Mm -hmm. Be squaring off against Jared Goff throughout the season. Wrexham. Can you imagine if you told Wrexham fans three years ago that they, that a friendly would be televised on ESPN stateside? Final box of Prism, and then we're going to dive into the uh, into Obsidian. Let's go NFC South. Saints plus one thirty-five, Falcons plus two twenty, Carolina plus three thirty, Tampa Bay plus seven hundred. This is to win the division. What does everyone think here? Anything jump out at you? Anything interesting? Yeah, nothing too interesting here for me. Might be fun to sprinkle a little something, a little coffee money on like the Buccaneers or something, a plus seven to one. See what happens. Oh, Gilo is being swayed by the quarterback's Netflix show. He wants to he wants to PC some Kirk Cousins. Yeah, that's definitely a nice little upgrade for the Saints getting Derek Carr on that team. I feel like he really doesn't even have to do that much. I think that's kind of when Derek is at his best. Oh, you found the alignment stick. It's working on takeaway and backswing, Michael. Could be a lightsaber, I should have brought two. We could have, ooh, yeah. Go run and grab some spray paint. We can spray paint another line of stick that I have, and we can, uh, we can play Star Wars. We can play Star Wars. When's the last time you played Star Wars, Michael? Uh, pretty recently. Pretty recently? Yeah, we can play Star Wars. My girlfriend's little brother. Perfect. Bring him over. He actually whacked the shit out oh, of Oh, no. Lightsaber. Really? Yeah. Mm. You know, you, you have to mind your surroundings, Michael. <laughs> Who do you have for the uh, British Open? Uh, I think uh, Rory can go two weeks in a row. Wow. Wow, between me, Nick, and his brother, none of us picked Rory. Really? Well, why would you? He won last week. Right. But, you know, he's, uh, I think he plays that'd, well out that'd there. Be, that'd be a nice story. Might do a little Rory top five, maybe. Who'd you bet? Fleetwood, which seems public, seems squarish, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Nick, Nick and Alex, uh, Nick and his brother picked uh, Scheffler. This is Prism Football Retail. 
So yeah, the checkerboards I think are exclusive to this set. Gabe's on the fence with the Bucks. Mayfield could have a comeback year. Yeah, maybe. I think this is his last year, right? He gets the starting opportunity. After that, just gonna be a backup forever. Baker. Yeah. This is his last chance. Do you think people are gonna keep giving him starting jobs after this year? All right, last division, just for your thoughts, and this is this is uh, Michael Jaspi's division here. NFC West. Niners are the favorites at minus six one sixty five, and it's Seattle at plus Seattle's plus two hundred. Seattle plus two hundred. Then it jumps to the Rams plus a thousand ten to one, and then it jumps again. Cardinals, Michael's Cardinals, twenty four to one. Taking the Cardinals to win zero games this year. Wow, that's hard. <laughs> no, sure. But they said Tyler might be ready for week one. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. What are the uh, what are the other favorites for you? Oh, for the divisions? Yeah. Uh, Niners are the favorites. Saints, Lions, Eagles, Kansas City, Jacksonville, Bengals, and Bills. What's Jacksonville's odds? Minus one fifty-five. That's not bad. I think they're the favoritists. No, Niners and uh, and Jaguars are the favorite assists to win the win it all. David, what's going on? How am I going to watch the Open? I'm going to watch it uh, half asleep most of the time. I think. I think I should be able to kind of fall asleep to the early groups around one or two a.m. Uh, L.A. time, and then I'll fall asleep. Then I'll wake up my usual time and probably catch the last few hours of the, the late groups. And then I just have to catch up on highlights in between. Or I don't know, if I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I might, might stay up for, <laughs> that might keep me up for an hour if I just have, if I just have the, uh, the TV under my iPad next to me on. Here's a Russell Wilson, 18 out of 25, Supernova. Remember, this is 2021. Nice old die cut for Seattle. That'll be for Alan Murdoch. So you're going to be here on Friday? Yes, I will be. It's Juju Smith-Schuster. This is the Red Flood 26. Where are we doing it? Here, I think, in this, this, this studio. We'll figure out if we need to move it else elsewhere. My bedtime usually, this depends on, on uh, you know, if adult beverages are, are in play or not. I could go to sleep as early as, I'll probably get home around, by the time I finish the stream at around 11, clean up and close the store, it's about half an hour, 20 minute drive home. Gotta get home around midnight-ish, my time. And then I could sleep as early as 1 a.m. my time, but usually probably up till two or three. There's Aaron Donald at 25. Sometimes four. Four is actually a little too late. Five, I'm in trouble. There's Rams. If I, see, if I start seeing sun coming up, it's going to be a long day at Jaspies. Eric clicks in the Vikings. And I try to get up anywhere between 10 a.m. and noon. Around the, that's my, that's my window. Try to get there, try to get up a little bit earlier than 10, but often doesn't happen. But yeah, I'll be trying to catch the, the open. But Ojolari and, which is numbered in Dak Prescott to 26. Oh, like a Kenny Pickett, or not a Kenny Pickett, 2021 Trevor Lawrence. Like a Trevor Lawrence red flood, that'd be awesome. All right, a couple more boxes to go. Almost done with the break. And we've got another longer break coming up right after this. Here's a rookie, Tommy Tremble to 26, Carolina. 
and it'll be for Peter. And so we'll have some time to talk about talk about the golf. In the next break, maybe talk about talk about the Women's World Cups. So talk more football if you want to, more NFL if you want to. It's basketball breaks, maybe some hoops chatter. JJ Watt, Cardinals edition going to Nathan. All right, and the final box. Good luck, everybody. 2021 Obsidian Football Team All Edition. Red Flood Parallels are the exclusives. Used to work similar schedule? Yeah, it's, I, I got used to it. It's just, I just have to get, if I have to do errands, I just have to do them before work, not after work. And here is a couple Buccaneers cards. Nice uh, Tom Brady Vitreous die cut. It's going to go to Chris and the Buccaneers. And then his former teammate Mike Evans to 26. Nice. All right, thanks everybody. That was the Jaspies 15 box quick hit football mixer random team break number two from jaspiescasebreaks.com. Let's run uh, some randomizers. We'll do top bottom randomizers here and we'll randomize everybody's names for the wax party invite. We are running out of those, ladies and gentlemen, so get into those breaks. All right, so let's flip back over here. Let's gather everybody's names, one through 32. And then we'll do uh, top bottom randomizers right here as well. One dice roll for both lists. Let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a one, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six and final time. Goes to the top cards right there. So top teams will get those dual team cards. And now the wax party invite. Fingers crossed, everybody. Five and a one, six times, only one winner. Name on top after six. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. So there's a lot of sad faces here, especially spot two. So close, but just not quite. Chris M, just not quite. Appreciate you and everybody else giving it a go. But after six, name on top is Scott E. There you go, Scotty. After six, you are in the wax party. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.